so Apple just came out with the third beta of iOS 17 and it's actually not looking that good for iOS 17 in my opinion. But we're going to talk about that in a second here once we take a look at some new features and changes of iOS 17 beta 3. And before we get into those new features, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to subscribe. It really will help this channel a lot. Now, first of all, iOS 17 beta 3 will come to your device at around 1 to 1.2 gigs. Of course, always depending on which software you have currently installed on your device and which, your, which device you're trying to install it on. And the build number for this update will be 21A. 5277H. This is the new build number of iOS 17 Beta 3. And now let's go ahead and take a look at about 20 new features and changes that you will find on this update. First of all, when you go to mark up a screenshot or a photo, whatever you're marking up, you will see that when you tap the plus button here and you want to add text, you will have now a new interface right here. So you will have the colors, you can format the text right here, change the alignment of the text, change the size here, and then you will have here another new feature, which is font. Now, previously you could do this and you will notice that if you don't have beta three, you will actually have here only like four different fonts. Now with this new update, when you tap here, it will take you to the page where you can select any any font you want from your device. So you can see all these different fonts, you can now choose any one of them and use them on your markup tool. We also have a few changes here on the recently deleted album on the Photos app. So previously you would have a recover and delete button right here at the bottom. Now you will find a select button right there where you can select one photo and then you will get these three dots right there. Tap on it, you will have the two buttons, recover and delete. What you can also do with this new feature is that without selecting any of the photos, just tap select and then tap on the three dots Right here you will get the buttons, but now you can recover or delete all the photos at the same time. You probably know that on beta 2, Apple has added this new lookup feature for these laundry icons. Now you will also get that icon right here. Now previously it would just show the I button. Now when you swipe up, it used to have the icon here, which is still there. But now you will also get the icon right there on the bar. Also for animals night, we got back the little icons right here previously it would show on beta one actually was the same as this one which would show the kind of animal the kind of pet there is there and on beta two it just used to show like another icon and now it's back with the original icons which in my opinion are way way better the weather app got some new updates as well. So first of all, we got the new look here for the air quality section on the weather app. It has been aligned a bit. So now we all have a right there, the, basically the number, and then it says good or whatever that is just underneath the number. And we have a change on the text there. Also, if you go to the maps, we will find a new feature right here. New wind maps have been added with iOS 17 beta three. So you tap there, we get the usual right there, temperature, air quality and then we get the wind as well so from here you will now be able to switch to the wind map which is really really cool and of course you can go ahead and play it here to see the wind speed on that location and here we have another change on the standby mode so when using the standby mode and using the widgets on the standby mode now if you tap on one of the widgets it won't actually go into the app but it will show you this little icon right there that will let you open the app if you tap on it just like that the new menu on iMessage got an update as well. It's a small update. When you tap the plus button here, you will have your photos. But now with iOS 17 beta 3, you won't see an icon there, but you will see your most recent photo. A pretty nice update for the control center. You know, with iOS 17, we are finally able to set multiple timers with a stock clock app on iOS. Now, when you go to set a timer on your control center, if we start a timer right there, you can see now it will add there a plus button which allows us to actually start a second timer by pressing that button. Now this won't start the timer on the control center. It will take you back to the clock app from where you can start a second timer. 
A new feature has been added to the music app as well, where you can now view credits for different songs. Now, what's really interesting is that from the drop down menu, you will be able to view the credits for individual songs. But if you go to an album and you do that, it won't actually allow you to do that. You can just do it for just like specific songs. You will get the credits at the top of the drop down menu. There is a new change here with the text menu. So on any text, if I tab there, we have paste, add link and format in this case on the notes app. And we used to have password and also contacts there. But now we have autofill. When you go there, then it will expand to contacts, password and scan text. So a new autofill button for the text menu. And when you go to Safari and you try to create a new profile with a new profiles feature on iOS 17, now you will have a new UI here when trying to select an icon for your profile. So we will have a, diff a few different icons there. You tap the three dots and you will get a bunch more different icons here. These have not been enabled on iOS 17 beta 2. They are now here and just tap the three dots. You will get a ton of new icons which you can select for your profiles. There's also an update on the update section. Now this is here, of course, with beta two, since people have been getting this once they try to update to beta three. So it's basically a new UI right there showing that the update is installing. This is new and hasn't seen before on iOS. On the settings app, you will now get a new prompt to search your settings. Now, of course, searching in settings is an old feature, but Apple is trying to add these tips within apps, trying to let users know of different features they can use within apps. And this is one of them right here. It says swipe down to enter a setting or app in the search field. The preset colors are back on the control center for when trying to turn on a supported light with the home app. Of course, you will now have back here the preset colors and you can go ahead and quickly choose between them. There is a new splash screen for the home app talking about the control widgets, new look and feel and also the new activity history for the home app. There will also be a new splash screen for the reminders app talking about the groceries list, the automatically automatic groceries list that iOS 17 will create on your reminders app. Then we have section, the new column view, and also a lot more here, a lot more new features that Apple has added to the reminders app. So these are some of the new features that we have been able to find on iOS 17 beta 3 until now. So why did I say it's not looking that good? Well, actually with the first beta, we got a lot of new features, about 200 new features and changes. And we got another 50 or more with beta two. And on beta three, we barely have been able to find like 20 new features. And most of them are actually not that big at all. And in my opinion, iOS 17 is done for now. We will have another probably like five or maybe six new betas until the public release, but don't expect iOS 17 to actually bring any more new big features until the public release. Most of the other new features that will be maybe bigger will be with the next updates like iOS 17.1 or 17.2 or even 17.3. But from now on, I believe Apple will just focus on making this update better, perform better and have better battery life and not continue adding more new features. Of course, during the next few betas, we will see a few new features here and there, but don't expect anything big. Now let's talk about some of the bugs that have been fixed on iOS 17 beta 3. Finally, it's looking like the keyboard is working as it should. So the keyboard was broken on beta 1. On beta 2, it did work better, but it did work better only on apps. On the spotlight search, it was a nightmare. It looks like it has actually been fixed now. And with the wallet app on iOS 17 beta 3, now you will be able to add and withdraw monings from your saving account. And now let's talk about performance. So here's the score that I got with Geekbench 6 on iOS 17 beta 3. So the single core score is at 2633 and you can see is a slight decrease there compared to the second beta. While the multi-core score has actually dropped a bit so we have 6804 and we had 6874 with a second beta. Now we will have to wait a couple more days for this update to set in and do another test, but it actually 
is actually not looking that good we hope that it would improve it's ha it has actually gone down a bit but hopefully it will be better in a couple of days here once this update sets in on the device now as far as battery goes of course we cannot know because it's just a day since this update has been released here's the battery that we got on the second beta hopefully this one will be better we'll talk about that in a few days now once we got this update and use it of course for a few days so this is yesterday here at about 130 percent battery we got 11 hours which is actually not that bad so the last few days with the second beta i got a bit of better battery life than i used to get on the first few days when i installed the second beta of ios 17 here we have about 90 percent battery eight hours 44 minutes and keep in mind that this battery is at 92 percent battery health so it's not looking that bad hopefully it will be way way better with this update so we can just take a look here at the last day so with 30 percent 2 hours 48 minutes on beta 3 so let's wait and see a few more days how this will turn out hopefully it will be a bit better than the second beta and now let's move on and talk about the public beta of iOS 17 so the page has been updated here on the apple's website and iOS 17 public beta is actually coming out really really soon my guess is that it will be here on monday i'm pretty sure it will be here on monday so anyone that hasn't installed iOS 17 dev beta on their device will be able to actually install this on their device and it will be very very easy of course installing the dev beta was also easy it is actually free all you have to do is just sign in into the apple dev program and you don't need to pay just create a free dev account and you will be able to install the dev beta but if you want to install the public beta you will need to sign up here once you sign up with your email you're good to go you don't actually need to install a profile now all you have to do is just sign in there and of course go ahead and update from your settings app just go ahead and go to general here go to software update make sure you're signed in here with that same email you signed into the public beta website there and then just go ahead and choose the public beta from here and you're good to go so what about beta 4 now i'm still expecting apple to actually stay on a two-week schedule so i would expect the fourth beta of ios 17 to come probably on july 18th or 19th these are the two dates that i would expect this update to come out to the devs most likely it will be on the 18th and then from beta 5 i would expect apple to actually go on a weekly schedule until the public release of ios 17 even though there are not a lot of new features that are being pushed out now with ios 17 probably apple will stay on the two-week schedule for the next beta and maybe even the fifth beta of ios 17. So should you update or not to iOS 17 beta? Well, if you haven't already updated, if you're still on iOS 16, I would wait a few days more and install the public beta. Even though those are basically the same betas, the third beta and the public beta that will be released on Monday are pretty much the same software. Just wait for that public beta. It will be much, much easier for you to install. And of course, if you're using just one device, if it's just your daily driver, I would install it. It's not anything actually very, very exciting. So I would wait at least for another couple of weeks or more, or even just wait for the public release of iOS 17. So that is it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead leave a like if you did, of course subscribe for more videos, I will see you on the next one.